Hey guys, in this video we're going to quickly cover how to create a super site with Google Domains as your domain registrar. So the first thing we want to do is create a new site on super. I'm going to choose static. Here we're just going to put the domain that we've got. This should be a domain that you own. Um, and in this example, we're going to be using Google Domains. So this is where we have that domain. And here's where you'll get the Notion link. So we've created a random uh, Notion page. We're going to turn sharing on, copy the link, paste it in here, continue. Pretty URLs are for child pages uh, to make those a little cleaner, uh, but we can skip that for now. We're going to click Google Domains. And here's the DNS info and the records that we'll need to add to Google Domains. The top is for the root domain, and then the bottom, the CNAME record, is for www. So we're going to go into Google Domains here. This is the domain. This is the a screen that you should see after logging in. We're going to click Manage on the domain that you're trying to connect. We're going to go into the DNS tab. Make sure you're using uh, the default Google Domains name servers because uh, otherwise DNS wouldn't work. And also make sure that you're not having any other um, synthetic records set up or uh, templated records. So in the custom resource records section, we're gonna add this first A record. So we're hooking up to the root domain, which is known as at, we'll leave that as an A. And then here we're gonna copy this value here. I'm going to add that as the second record for www. We're going to set that up as a CNAME and we're going to point that to cname.super.so. So one thing that I see often is you cannot have multiple A records pointing from your root domain, which is at. So if you have multiple A records pointing from at, um, they'll be conflicting and it may load some of the time, but um, you'll be stuck at checking DNS in super and uh, it, it won't load for, for the majority of the time. So make sure you don't have any other conflicting A records. The same goes for CNAME records pointing from www. So now we're going to go back to super. Uh, this is all optional for now, so we're going to click done. And we're just going to wait for this guy to go ahead and finish up. And as you guys can see, everything is all live now. So if I click this, then it will load the contents of my Notion site. So normally checking DNS and deploying statuses usually only last a couple of minutes, but in some cases it can go uh, up to a few hours depending on the propagation of your domain and your domain registrar. So that's about it. Let me know if you guys have any questions and catch you in the next one.